it sounds like you're having a lovely time up in the Mara there and, and enjoying some wonderful sightings. And uh, yeah, I know you're going on leave too soon. So you must be excited about that. Sorry, there's still these little play flyers. Look at them go. Oh, now they've they they moved um, they moved away from us, and now they decided to come back. But look at them. This weather. And we've said it before, often rainy weather, cooler weather can often bring out the playful side in young animals. I think it's all exciting for them. They must be thirsty. We were commenting on it earlier because they were licking the moisture off the bull bar of the vehicle in the front and then also licking the moisture off that adult that was that's lying down on the other side. But watch him go. <laughs> Shame, I'm so <laughs> You see that little tumble it just took? <laughs> uh, that was funny. <laughs> the little one just decided to run in front of that larger one. Took its legs right out from under it. Sorry, excuse the poll, everyone. Obviously, the one of the hazards of having the roof on, but the rain is this drizzle hasn't stopped. It's it's actually got I would say a bit heavier. I know it's starting to get dark in the Mara at the moment, so they're putting their infrared on. So they'll stick with us and these playful hyena cubs for the moment. Which I'm sure none of you are complaining about. It's wonderful to see them. Hold on a second, so I'm just getting an update now. Go ahead, Mike, go ahead. It sounds like those wild dog uh, are up and down. They've lost. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Sorry, everyone. Let me just. Ah, uh, no. Okay, copy, Mike. Thanks very much for updating me. That's all right. Thank you. Um. I was saying, unfortunately, the wild dogs. Uh, let's just, I'm going to listen out, but uh, the problem is they're quite far from where we are now because we drove down um, into that southeastern part of, of Juma and there we had nothing. And now all of a sudden, these wild dogs have popped out. But they're not on Juma yet. They're still, um, they're still on our neighboring property, which we can't go to anyway. Excuse me, but um, hopefully, I don't know, I'm still listening. Maybe we get a, a view of them. Um, I'm just trying to think, but they're on Torchwood, so chances of them coming back this way are unlikely, but I'll listen. If they change direction and head back this way, then we'll uh, we'll try to shoot through to that side and hopefully get a view of them. But as you know, a wild dog, it's not easy to see them, and they do cover huge distances very, very quickly. But at least we've got playful hyena. It's actually, it's quite funny. As soon as wild dogs arrive, um, the radio tends to uh, tends to get a lot busier because the people uh, obviously updating each other and trying to follow the wild dogs which is not easy as yeah you asked how big can the hyena get um, if we look off just to the left where's that adult there we go uh, that big <laughs> Um, so an adult hyena will weigh I think around 60 kilograms or so 60 
maybe 70 kilograms. Let me just double check in that mammal book for you quickly. I always like having, sorry, I'm, I can't move anywhere because these hyena are running in the screen. I'm trying to stay out of the shot. <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> They're next to the vehicle again. So let me just double check quickly on um, the size. That's why I say it's always important carrying a mammal book around with you. But I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's about 60 or 70 kilograms. No, 60, they say up to 80 kilograms. Um, so, yeah, so between 60 and 80 kilograms. So, yeah, I was right. <laughs> always helps. Just checking, like I say, um, just double checking. So maybe a big female. Now I say big female. Remember the females are more dominant than the males. They're much larger, and um, and the females will be the heavy ones, much heavier than a male, with the hyena, which is strange. Doesn't happen with any of the other predators around here. Um, is it, sorry, I, I didn't hear the name properly. Is it Ragan? I'm not sure. Sorry, but you asked about hyena and um, and at what age they start eating meat. Well, I've seen youngsters snacking on uh, snacking on little bones. Sorry, the poles in the way. Um, from a young age, two months already, starting to chew on little bones if they're brought to the den. Occasionally, the adults might bring leftovers back to the den. Um, it, it, it happens from time to time, and I think you can actually see some bones just over there. Am I, am I right? Is that, yeah, see little bones over there. So they do bring little bits and pieces of carcass to the to the den. Um, I just want to double check, but I think it is little pieces of bone over there. Looks like it from here. So I think um, I think uh, already these youngsters will be chewing on bits and pieces of meat. So from a young age, just like leopards and lions, also generally, and, and this is an average. It might be a bit earlier. It depends if there's a kill close to den. Might be a bit later, but uh, about. Two months, I would say, what that I've noticed with predators and the youngsters will start chewing on bits and pieces of meat, but they will still suckle from the adults, so they will still have to drink milk from the adults at that age. Um, but yeah, these young hyena, two months, two and a half months, they'll be they'll be eating pieces of meat already. And they've disappeared round to the back of the termite mount. <laughs> Tula Ann, hello Tula Ann, and for those of you who don't know, Tula Ann's five years old, and always nice hearing from you, Tula Ann. I've missed you, I haven't heard from you for a while. Now, um, you asked if the hyena think that maybe the car is a toy. Well, I wonder, Tula Ann, I wonder, you must remember, these little hyena, they've never seen a toy like we would give to our pets. So it's a very different behavior. This is something I think that is unusual, so something they're not used to. Maybe that's why it's just stirring a bit of curiosity inside them so they're coming to investigate they want to see what is this big thing that is around and that's why they're licking and tasting it's all new um, smells and tastes for them that's why the hyena cubs are coming more so than thinking it's an actual toy I think it's because of the smells and it being so different nice to hear from you Tula and thank you for your question I'm just trying to keep a, an ear out for those wild dogs to see if they do head this way. Can't hear anything just yet. Sorry, that adult is still lying there. So the adult's not enjoying the um, the cold weather as much. Not nearly, not nearly as much as those youngsters are. Um, they're very playful at the moment. I think I'm going to leave the den, see what's happening with those wild dogs while I do that. Let's go across to Jamie, who now has her infrared on, and see what nocturnal animals she might find this evening for us.